Welcome back to our Shuffle Tournament commentary series. I am Lukewarm Holiday. And I am Irissa. Our commentaries before have been mostly focused on high-level organized play and have had a bias towards showcasing like the stronger, higher tier suits so far. We wanted to also be able to showcase some of the worst suits in a setting that everyone is inevitably going to experience a lot when the game comes out. Low mid-level shuffle play. This helps make the stuff a bit more representative, I hope. Yeah, these matches are from a sort of best of series that try to follow specific players through the tournament, omitting some matches of the losing teams. Hopefully you see some suits you like and enjoy the matches. Source links in the description. Alright, we got Sananji, Wing Zero Custom, Gold Frame, and Delta Plus. We got some actually normal looking teams for once. That's nice. Always a blessing in Shuffle. I think I would de okay, we're looking at Delta Plus. Um, I would definitely bet on the Wing Zero Custom Delta Plus. We, we haven't, like, looked at this thing before, but, like, uh, it's, like, probably one of the more basic and good for beginner suits. Uh, it's just good for, for good for beginning players. Its main and sub are both variantless, and you can basically just do a whole knockdown sequence without actually doing committing anything other than a boost top, and then you can use this assist to fast fall. And it auto faces when it assists when it does a fast fall now, unlike full boost. So mm -hmm. you can very easily take a safe landing with it. So you can just like, whenever you have the assist up, all you can do is you can just run in, blast it, and then back out and use the assist to get a safe landing, basically. Yeah. I was planning on making a beginner video soon, and this suit's definitely featured on it along with Marasai. And there's actually quite a lot of opinions on what makes a good beginner suit, but my justifications for it are. Delta Plus and Marasai really get you to feel the strength of just boost efficient movement, like boost hopping at people, using the Omicon to cover your boost hop, and implementing more boost hops into your play, more Fua steps. Feels very good with Delta Plus, you feel very rewarded for it, and it helps you start avoiding the massive amount of crap that's flying at you that you don't know how to process yet. It basically gets you to the point where you can actually start watching the game and start responding to it properly. So, having said that, they're not in a great spot right now. They're not in... Yeah, they're okay. I don't know. Delta Plus just needs to chill. It's, it's hard for... It de a lot depends on the Wings Zero Customs next... Next, uh... Next burst. Because if he gets a lot done in the next burst, then this is good. Okay, now they're in a good spot. He, now he still hasn't even used the burst, so like he can still go in now and blow it. Oh, he's extend burst. Actually, never mind. I I, I thought he was S burst for some reason. I should have like paid more nope. attention. But either way. Nah, they. I think yeah. they were running away with that. Yeah, they. Double E burst. I should pay more attention to burst when we're building in the matches. HFX, HFX, IOS, IOS X2, X2, and Gun Easy. Well, could be worse for the other team. I definitely know which team I'm betting on. <laughs> it's not the one with the Gun Easy. So, we're watching HFX, we've already kind of like talked about him, but yeah, like, this suit is just like very basic, has a very nice beam rifle, and pretty obnoxious sub that you can just throw it non-stop. Because it's got like... Some in normal mode, it's not super great, but in blast mode it's absurd. It's just pretty good in normal mode though. Ios, just a spammy range funnel partner suit. He has to form up though because he's an extreme. Gun easy, assist spammy, low cost suit. There's like no real advantage to it. I guess it gives a shield. It can give a beam shield assist to people. Kind of like, uh, like BO or other suits like that. And X2, we had, you know, we've covered him before you. Just a basic range suit for the most part. He yeah, has double lock and punch for that melee. Matches, nice assist. Just be seeing out of there. Alright, finally a shooting burst. There's this. Okay, it looks like. Age effects isn't gonna make any play, yeah. so. Oh no! I think he died in shooting burst. Bad. Yep. You don't want to waste your. That's a big conundrum with uh, 1.5k's. Is you kind of don't want to waste your burst meter by dying, but you're very vulnerable to dying by the time you get your half burst. 
Well, part of that is helped if you manage to not die before your partner, but then that often ends up not being ideal. So... Okay, we have blast mode age effects now, so no, they yeah. should really just be able because to get he, he, because he was an e burst, even though he got punished for that, it barely did any damage. So now he has a full blast mode left. This guy just still, calms every time he still has lands. A burst, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. That's a struggle I have with Age Effects, is that oh, yeah. he has his shielded... Oh no, he gave bits to his partner by accident. I think. Because I don't think he I meant think to so give too. it to his partner. Yeah. It's just hard for me to appreciate that his armor dash is... Or his... Oh, it's God, none of those on. shots! Shooting burst gun easy was trying to cut all of that and just none of it hit. That's so depressing. Oh no. Yeah. Nice overheat combo. Yeah, making sure to get the dead. It's always important. <laughs> it's only beams. Gun easy can't do anything about it. It's hard to remember I have that when I just want to wait for the shield over and over again and play as slow as possible. I think he gave to his partner again. But I don't, I'm not, maybe it really was on purpose. Oh, this is awkward. Just land! Holding that E burst. Gosh, he almost has like a full burst again. This is crazy. Okay. Sorry, like, I definitely felt for the other team there. There's. It's. That was a definitely a difficult matchup for them. Because they needed their burst to actually win the game. Because good luck killing uh, Blast. You know, Blast Age effects. Mm -hmm. But Ios is just turtling. So. Started off okay though. But anyway, wow, another normal. This is actually like a like. This isn't even just a normal match. This is like a high tier match too. Sazavi, X1, Reborns, yes. Arios. We're gonna watch Reborns. And we got Reborns. All right. Let's flip out. Let's see how good this guy is. Alright, Sazabi's just... Neither of these suits really want to go in on each other. Yeah. Reborns definitely has the better melee. Yeah, this is basically just gonna be... Like, I feel like both of these front suits are just gonna be creating opportunities for their backs for the most part. Like, it's pretty difficult otherwise. I think one of the benefits Reborns has is even if they want to play a slow game, you can still go in for very safe offensive yeah. sequences in the sub to just kind of poke. Okay, X1 lost You have so much shield. boost to retreat. Sorry, I lost his ABC man. It does reload in this game though, but like this is a window where he's like, oh, did, oh okay, there we go. Oh, it didn't get a proper confirm off that, so that did like no damage, unfortunately. I always get nervous when I see X1 assist get blocked because it stuns for quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Game is extremely even right now, like absurdly even. Mm -hmm. X1, really nice, good intercept there, because uh, Reborns really wanted to boost forward one more time to throw that CSA, but couldn't do it, because X1 was, like, protecting his partner. That was really good. Okay, Garaby Fangs. Uh, just, just playing evasive, not committing to anything. Ariel still hasn't lost any health, though, so this is, I definitely think they're pretty hard in the lead now. Yeah, they're really far in the lead now. X1 is, like, just doesn't have enough range presence to, to be able to do stuff like Ariel's. Ios has. No, it's Arios. <laughs> Sorry, we had, Arios. we just went from Ios into Arios. Sorry. Yeah, that was a misspeak, not a mistake. Ammo management on this Reborns is pretty decent. Never going too low. Can't help but wonder if that would have landed if it was F burst. Ooh, I can't believe that didn't E burst because it's a shuffle tournament, which is perfectly fair. Oh, really? Don't nice think there's up. any shame picking E burst reborns in shuffle. This guy hasn't really made much use of the down main. Like, I, maybe this is like before. I don't know. Like. This might have been before Reborns got buffed, it's 2016, so it's 
possible. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Definitely didn't see much flip he did. to Dungeon. He did fine. Yeah. Best thing to do when you don't know how to use every tool is just to not try to work it in when you don't know when to use it. Well, you can't. Well, you have to. You have to use it in a tournament. Time, in a tournament, yeah. Yeah, and I know this is supposed to be a low stakes kind of deal, but you still wanna. Wow, it's, stick to I, what this you feels know. like a normal tournament we're watching this week. <laughs> yeah, we're getting actual team comps every time. Charzaku. Don't see this thing too much anymore. Galgo, nice and... Okay, we're watching Galgo. Okay. Yep. He has a CSA where he wiggles and fires three shots. Yeah, he does... His CSA is a Zunda, and then his CSB is you, uh... He throws a... He throws a yeah. Naginata? Naginata, yeah. He throws a Naginata, and, like, if you get hit by it, you get slowed. You take a lot of damage, and you get slowed for a long time. And it charges up to level three. So basically, you just yeah. kind of like sit around and fish and look for opportunities to land the Naginata. It has really... He always throws it up a little bit, so like it can can catch people unawares when it comes down like a bit like Arc-7-8's Javelin. Charizaku 2 yeah. used to be terrifying, but they severely nerfed its tank toss. There we go. Finishing the down with the Javelin, max, maximum damage, and now his Wing Zero is like super slow. He popped Burst. Okay, so now he's... Back. Oh, that one just barely whiffed. That was unfortunate. Way down. Partner X2. Oh, sorry, X, turn X. Okay. Kills wing zero. Charzaku is fairly low. Oh no, he ate like a bunch of shots of super armor. That's not good. Galgo is very healthy. This is looking good. Turn X got a hit on wing zero TV. I can only tell because of the damage. They're really far ahead now. Yeah, this Galgook is doing exactly what he needs to do. Just playing pretty safe, just poking a little bit with main here and there, and then throwing the CSB when he can to get a punish. Yeah, perfect. Nice. That's exactly what you want. Exactly what you want. Just like two hit CS, CSB. And then Char's like, I need to do something! But I can't reach. Ooh, close. Close. Oh, he just did YOLO Super with Turn X. I don't know about that. Okay, okay, whatever. Shark How can you it. play Turn X and not YOLO Super sometimes? <laughs> it never works, but it feels good. It works when it doesn't matter. <laughs> that it will. Hell yeah. I wouldn't want it any other way. Throne Dry, Gold Sumo, Togis 3, and GPO 1. Well, this is, this is more like a normal shuffle. Let's see whose POV we get. Okay, please These give us Togis 3. Let's, see, let's give us Togis 3. Togis 3. Togis 3. Come on. Eh, GPO 1. This is I rare. guess we don't see this thing too much yet. For a brief time, and I think, I forget if it was Maxi Boost or Maxi All, and they actually had the thing of that they, ha they, they made it a little bit like Next, and that you started in fucking the low cost form again. They got rid of that, though. It's not a good gimmick. But yeah, this thing is, um... It, like, it actually has quite high damage options, but unfortunately, like, every... It hasn't really got anything that actually has, like, significantly hard to avoid, basically. Because it's melee is yeah, high CSA damage. Yeah, is very weak, yeah. so it doesn't work as a call-out. His melee are like his part split melee that you just saw there is actually pretty good, but yeah, but they're more. I would say that like you, they're not that hard to just fly away from either. So like it's yeah, uh, he just struggles to actually like do anything. You kind of want to try to get people to like come and fight you one v one and get in your face, but like you can't really. He kind of struggles to get people to want to even do that though in the first place. Mm -hmm. I'd say. So it's like, if people are coming to him, he can actually counterplay pretty hard and, like, exhibit some performance well above his cost, but... Beyond, like, shoots that... Suits that have, like, vernierless Garobies, like Reborns, or... Wing Zero TV, Seven Sword, like... Those suits shut down a lot of those kinds of gimmicks. And then... 
he doesn't really have the ability to just plant himself near people and get them to want to challenge him. Mm -hmm. Well, this this they both died at base at the same time. That's perfect timing on their part for repulsed health regulation. Enemy tall beast is very low as well, so like this is an incredibly even game right now. Yeah, you can see he just he's like, also very slow, so he can't actually land safely near people to make it work. Yeah, he has all these flips and shit, but they're not really all that good either. Like they're, everything, like on this... they're okay. Like if he had decent mobility to take aggressive landings and make himself a problem, right? Like think about Double O and EX versus Two. They buffed the base mode. They gave him a lot of tools to do callouts to defend himself. I would say that the suit's main thing is it really just wants his partner to take attention so it can fly up and then to somebody's back who's not just trying to move away from it and land a CSA or a CSB because those lead to big damage. Yeah. CSA he really needs help to get into yeah. the position he wants to be in. Uh-oh, 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 oh, nice block, good shit. Good block. Good block. Dry helped out. Yeah, dry, dry, whenever Dry gives the, the, the spinny, the, the boxer, sorry, the red field, it's stealth field, he has guidance cutting, so that's actually pretty good for this. Nice sequence, See, but like, then the assist was there to finish. Yeah. Oh, good. See, good, like, good. that's kind of what he wants to do. Like, if you're close enough, you can start threatening the melee, you can start threatening flips. And if they try to deal with any of them with, like, a step vernier move, your suit can actually call out those very well. But, in my opinion, he doesn't have the mobility to actually put himself in any uncomfortable situations to where people will actually want to deal with you. Yeah, most, most of the time just people will just keep moving just, away. People will, will just jump away, and then, like, you used all your boost to try to do stuff, and then you get punished, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, master. And that's assuming you didn't get landing punished in the first master place. Heavy arms. heavy arms. Win custom. No. So double three K team. It, this takes a video on itself. He's gonna do a lot of weird movement. He's gonna throw a lot of stuff. Yeah, like this thing's like the stuff isn't actually that threatening at range. His missiles are the most threatening part, but they move kind of slow. Yeah. Um. See, he wants to like get kind of uncomfortably close and just start spraying shit in your face, so your movement vectors get denied. His, you can fire his machine gun like unlimited, kind of like, uh, kind of like go goofs. So it can also be semi decent at close range. That's another reason, or not semi decent. It's actually quite decent at close range, just because it's like, in a way, it's kind of like having a variantless garabi that just keeps firing. You know, like you're just unloading a non-stop amount of crap at close range. Yeah, like he actually caught a bad movement with his machine gun at long range, but he just couldn't confirm it into a knockdown because yeah. none of his tools really work. Up close, if you get a hit, you can actually confirm it into sub, and that'll usually get it down, but... Yeah, well, like, it's really hard to explain all of these instances that he's doing that are refilling his boost, but, like, for the most like, part... Like, when he's doing all of his movement cancels at, like, this far of a range, he's not actually contributing all that much. Because his... He's kind of hoping that people get caught up in dealing with Master that, like, a stray missile might hit or something. Like, but if like, you try to <laughs> missile support your melee suit, you actually might accidentally hit him. So. Yeah, like, the funny part is that it just got me thinking, like, when, when Heavy Arms is, like, flipping out like crazy at long range, it's literally, like, the equivalent of, like, at the start of the game. See, now he's start. moving in with Burst, and now he's making himself a huge problem, and they basically just won instantly. Yeah, like, when, when, when you're Once just... Once he was comfortable moving in. When you're just flipping out at max range with Heavy Arms and nobody's even looking at you, it's like the StarCraft equivalent of just, like, spamming boxes or, like, selecting your workers over and over again the start of the match. You're just like, eh, it's APM. Mm -hmm. keeps, my keeps my hands warm. Saku 3, Blue Frame, G Self, and Double O. Is it gonna be Blue Frame? Saku 3? G Zaku that... 3, baby! No, no, it's blue frame. No, it's double O, they couldn't make up Trolled. our mind. Trolled! We could not make up our mind. Well, oh no, he messed up his fast fall there. Well, it's okay, he didn't get punished for it. Yeah, yeah I'm this... not sure the exact inputs on that fast fall, but. No, 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 it was, he was just trying to do, like, melee into, into CSA, but he just messed it up. Okay. Yeah, this suit is, uh. So there's one he can do without inputting a melee. Yeah. It's difficult, though. Using a shield, but I don't know what the input sequence is on that. It's, it's complicated. I wouldn't expect this guy to be able to do it. <laughs> anyway, this suit is, like, pretty basic. Like, you kind of... 
you have high performance, main movement, and you have a nice sword toss and a nice CSA variant of Scarrow when you're mm -hmm. in this mode. But like, he doesn't really have anything like particularly outstanding in general. Like, it's all just like. I think it's generally hard. accepted that his base form is what keeps him back, holds him back. He has everything he needs in riser mode. It's just. Well, it's more that riser mode isn't good enough to compensate for how bad the base mode is, is my opinion. That's like, yeah. like, like, because his base, his riser mode is good, but it's just not like amazing. It doesn't make up for having. So, oh, he has three sixty degree block in this as well. I guess that's, mm -hmm. more, that's also nice. Like riser tuned was over. Riser mode was over tuned at the beginning of EX versus two. What what actually made the suit good was they generally accepted that his base mode buffs made it so even when you're in base mode, if you put yourself in an uncomfortable position, you still deny the opponent the ability to, like, do anything crazy disrespectful, and they still have to deal with you. Oof, that assist They can't totally ball. ignore you. Well, his blue frame is kind of low, and I'm not sure I like the fact that how far he's moving up. Like, he's consistently standing in front, and I don't like this. I don't like this at all. They're at the same HP. Don't worry about it. Like, I, whenever I'm counting HP when I play a back, right? Like, I count having a death available as, like, an extra 100 HP. Because of how often, like, damage spills over. And done. Because, like, say you're at, like, 40 HP, right? And you get 300 HP on respawn. If they start Azunda, what would have been like a full confirm for like 140 damage. Still needs to be... It's like... The call out that would lead to that damage still needs to be done to you even though you only have 40 HP. So like... You kind of have a little bit extra HP in quotes. Because you have a death available. And it's generally considered you should both be fronting if you're at the same HP. Basically, you should both be forcing your own 1v1 situation or, depending on your composition, following up on each other. And ping-ponging constant 2v1 situations. Then miss is going for a lot of good snipes, good vector snipes, good hit, even though you couldn't confirm that all the way. Still a good shot. This game is going a little bit fast for him right now, though. Like, or rather, his suit. He need like he's not getting the opportunity yeah, to get a full CSA. Well. Nice. He finally took damage at the cost of killing the opponent. So. Shield is back. Time to throw it on and do something. Oh no, he immediately lost it. Oh uh, well, it stopped the damage, but he lost his shield. He's gonna it's take pretty damage bad, anyway. though. Oh! Ooh! Oh! This is good. This is really good, actually. Get your hands off me! Oh no, the, I think that just got screwed up by the wall, unfortunately. Yeah, it didn't kill, don't worry about it. Did he drop his charge? That went from like, being like level 2 to level 1 or something. Okay, we have a shield, let's land the Garrow. We, we got a couple hits of it. Got the Garrow. I didn't burst though. You should get one more burst, though. <laughs> I usually see E-burst, but I was like, hmm, let's see how Shooting Burst does, and he actually just has endless snipes. That was cute. That was close. I've never yeah, seen how Yeah, just let his partner die. like, screw that, I'm not getting in there. Frickin yeah. Axia. They're about the same HP. Partner's gonna have a burst. Oh dear. Oh dear. He's also- this is actually slightly dangerous as well, because he actually might die to a combo. And he doesn't have enough to burst. It's messy. I'm waiting for Goof to hold down the main. No, he's meleeing. Got him. <sighs> okay, I think- did H hit his partner and then De Dynamis followed up on that? I think that's what just happened there. No. Um, Goof hit him and then did a melee combo. Age cut. Okay.
Urga, Arios, Destiny, Reborns. Was it Maxi or Maxi on where the suit was like? Maxi. It was Maxi when they first made the 1.5k cost here. The burger was actually considered okay. good for a bit. Because he was basically good because it was a 2k at 1.5k cost. Well, I mean, like, that, that could have been incorrect as well, like, in terms of, like, how it's just how people were evaluating at the time. People were like, like, Burger literally just has, like, is as good as a 2k, but is a less lower cost, basically. Mm -hmm. But it, it may not have been, like... Well, he was also yeah. good at a time where, like, 2ks weren't very popular, because yeah. 2ks kind of fell into a slump after full boost for a while. And then they added Dreadnought <laughs> and Sandrock and Blitz. Yeah. Then there was, like, the Age of Overtune 2Ks, and then they were in jail the entirety of Maxi Boost until the very end. It's kind of weird that, like, 2Ks used to be very stable, but they're kind of... Oh, let's watch this for a second. This suit's much more mobile than I gave it credit for. Yes. Pretty, it's pretty fast. It's always been pretty fast. It's just, mm -hmm. it, it had the biggest problem this suit has is like consistently getting follow up damage off its shit. Cause like the missiles are good. The missile get spread is good, but like it's mm -hmm. hard to convert off it properly. Okay, it's gonna we're gonna have a cost over the Arios. Yeah, for for a double three K team, the opponent's team is doing pretty damn well. Can we get an unblockable? No, we didn't get an unblockable. Oh, I'm not liking how much damage Burger's taking right now. Because, like, Arius hasn't died once yet. Yeah, you need to let Arius die. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's backing off. Yep. There's the death. Oh, dear. No punish on that either. Burger still doesn't want to die, and Destiny's. Oh, that was very lucky that Reborns did not have Sub to catch him there. Sub would have hit. Yep. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is good. Oh, nice good. punish. Yeah, Got I think Reborn's pushed in too hard for that. Like, Destiny still had quite a lot of HP. But yeah. But yeah, 2Ks were actually pretty weak, the majority of Maxi Boost on. They got a couple buffs as a cost tier. One of which being a pretty substantial Guts buff. And that led to a lot of aggressive backs becoming pretty favored. Well, I shouldn't say aggressive. They're usually versatile. They're like bully suits. GPO3? Okay. I thought we were going to watch Dill, but then I remember Dill is kind of boring. I'm sure someone is upset for me saying that, but it's true. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. <laughs> sorry. I was leaning too far back while saying it. Um, okay. Well, this is a hell of a spammy match, because we have GPO3 yeah. and Penelope who are both spam lords, and honestly, Hi Nu is pretty spammy as well in this game with its CSB and new, mm -hmm. <laughs> new bazookas and stuff. I feel bad for the duel. Hard for him to, like, really do anything, I feel, beyond poke with Buster. Nice hero. Nice. So one of my favorite parts about GPO3 is if people get too fixated on your partner and not you, you can oh, just this... slip right in. This is actually pre-GPO3 nerf as well. Like his sub is still making him like auto face the target when they overturned his buffs. So he has like an H tier fast fall. Mm-hmm. S burst Penelope, doing the deeps. Okay, he gets the kill. Didn't really take that much in burst, so that was a good burst from Penelope. This guy still hasn't taken damage. Yeah. It's time to start using your HP, buddy. Ooh, just barely avoiding that. Oh no, he cancelled that a little bit too early. It's okay, he, got a, he didn't get punished. Okay, That's that a good example of if you burst in a circle, you can get out of GPO3's Garabee in this game. 
it's not as high correction as it is in Gundam Versus, despite still being incredible. It's the difference between great and obscene. Because I feel like in Gundam Versus, GPO-3 is very much defined by the strength of his AC, whereas in this uh, game it's this like... This duel has just gotten nothing done this game, unfortunately. Oh, F-Burst! On God? Uh, does that even hit Oh, he wants to No! He did, tried to combo into them! You can't <laughs> swag like that! Oh. oh, this is a mess. Yeah, the, like, it has such a long muzzle, it's not gonna hit when you try to combo it like that. Yeah, you, I mean, step backwards you can. He just... He just got excited. Zeta Unicorn, RK Destiny. Well, RK Destiny, I think, definitely has a pretty big advantage here because base mode Unicorn is gonna hate dealing with both of those suits, let alone one. Okay, did he? Does he have the assist buff in this point at least? I don't know. I don't think Unicorn is crippled after the last buff. No, he doesn't have the assist buff. Oh no, he didn't do a proper combo. That's bad. Nice sh Shilamakon. This guy seems to know what's up. Another good Shilamakon. Well, this is like a really useful technique for a Unicorn to learn where you... I'm not going to explain exactly how you do it, but you basically... You well, use, is this, don't use this just auto face now? No, 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 no. That's an EX versus 2 change. Okay, that's an EX versus 2 change. Yeah, I don't think he I don't think he even has that in this in this game yet. But... Yeah, the Shilamakon is really useful just because it helps you... Fa you meet it... Like... A lot of the times you'll see people use melee to like face and they, they get to then the rainbow step out of it, but like Shield Amicon is better because you don't have to like move into the opponent at all, basically. Mm -hmm. You just can immediately just go backwards and you do it. And the way it works is if you do a boost input and then your assist input, it reads that as a boost, right? Mm -hmm. But because the assist is starting to come out, the boost never actually happens, so even though you're boosting backwards, putting yourself out of angle, which should invalidate the Omicon, you actually stay facing your opponent and it lets you fast fall. Yeah, it's weird. They've done a really- this is- they, I think they did the smart thing and like had Zeta front because- and just mm -hmm. had Unicorn just focus on surviving and run away. And this- this definitely has paid off so far. Mm hmm Nice block. Time for an S burst in NTD though. Interesting. Not sure what this does. Yeah, this is pre buff. He doesn't have 30 ammo. I have another nice. thing to double nice. check. Beautiful. Beautiful. I can't remember if the 30 ammo. No, it can't be a EX versus 2 change because he doesn't have he doesn't, the yeah, same main. It's his sub in EX versus 2. So yeah, this is pre-buffs. Good shit. So I think you got another mobility buff as well. Like, base form is actually crazy. We got our team of winners here. Win custom, win custom. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, so... This thing, like this, this, this thing is interesting. Um, its main is it only has a variant of Garaby main. Um, it has assists that have like normal shots, which it can help it like get landing punishes. But hitting stuff, mm. hit, hitting people with this suit is not that easy because it's it has limit unless you have it sub up to be able to whoa um, to be able to do another uh, to, to do another main. Without having to boost dash, then you know you can just end up at wrong angles to land stuff a lot. They gave it zero system yeah, in this game, which is nice. Oh, and they also gave it the ability to pick up with its new 8B, kind of like Wing, Wing TV does. It also has a fast fall, although it's not that good, and this guy isn't making much good use of it. But you can use it. Most people I seem to see use it with uh, with. Yeah, yeah, one Omicron, thing to like, mention yeah, about they, his fastball is this suit's already insanely mobile. Yeah. 
Well, it's still nice because it's a very floaty suit, so being able to land quick is good for it. Oof. Um, the, main, the main use I see of it, this guy isn't doing it though, is with when you do the fast fall and then you actually step out of the fast fall and do your Amakon. Which is a pretty good sequence. Okay. That's good, because you bring yourself straight yeah. to the ground and then there's barely any time between your step and the landing. Yeah. Nice. Good call out. That was a good, very good assist to actually call out the Amakon. It's a shame he got hit for it, but... I guess that's that BC special movement. Yeah. Everything else has the rolling buster on CSA. It's a little is bit two assists a buff? Huh? Two assists is, nor is normal in this game. It, okay. it, it is only one in full boost, but they buffed it in this game, yeah. Sorry, you're correct. It's a buff, rather. Okay. He hasn't blown his air system yet. He's saving it for use with his next burst, probably, to close the game, I think. Ooh. He's, like, seeing if his partner can, like, get mileage before he has to do it. Okay, now he has to do it. He's charging up the CSB. He's about to, he's about to pop the burst. He's going to BC. Then he's New wants burst. to close, and so does Wing Zero Custom. Oh, perfect. Calling nice. the assist at the right time. Delta is bursting. Now you just have to hit Delta one more time. Oh, no, his partner cut him. Okay, okay, his partner cleaned it up. So I guess New got knocked down by the G self, and then G self came to help. Hit the front, but he finished the game, so neither here nor there. Blue frame, double O, heavy arms, master. Show me master. Hell yeah! Alright, throws babies. Oh, nope, we get blue frame. Alright. I hope blue frame has his minor buffs at this point. I'd like to see him land his once per life CSA. Let's see though. The suit is pretty basic, it has a nice jump, it's got a boomerang, and it's a huge sword. Not actually seeing the melee jump much. Sword Toss is one of the big draws that okay. makes it a cut above just being a basic bean suit. Has amazing correction and you can call out... Not a crazy correction. Well, yes, amazing correction nice and you can call out which direction people That was move. one of his once per life um, shots that snipe that does like nearly 200 damage. So that's a very good confirm to get for a range thing off high correction moves. Heavy Arms is just like, I'm not dealing with that. Oof, he tried to super him there. He's just yellow super, but... Double O just kept moving. Okay, Master finally dies. Blue Frame needs to chill a bit. Oof. Yeah, I couldn't... Not sure about boost stopping there. But, yeah. So, Master now has a lot of HP to dump. But they're really far, pretty far ahead, so it'll be pretty difficult for Heavy Arms not to die here just to follow up. Nice. Yep. Heavy Arms gassed himself completely out of Voiding Master, and then Blue Frame just swooshed straight in. I like Blue Flame just because it's rare use of the Armor Schneiders from Seed. Isn't his CC8B the combat knife? A lot of his melee uses it, doesn't it? I think. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got that goof again, Zeta, Nu, and GPO3. Yeah, Alright, Nu actually has a pretty cool CSB. Well, it has the CSB in G-Versus, but it just works way better in this game because you can cancel it into main, basically. Also, people don't have step dive. So it just controls all That's space. probably the bigger qualifier, is it's a pretty high guidance move, then people can't just step dive it. Which is one of the biggest drawbacks. This guy's canceling it. Oh, and it just instantly. goes straight in there? Yeah, good, good, good. Oh. I like that he uh, got a knockdown with the pyramid and immediately turned it back off. 
So, do I. so he doesn't have to wait for the full reload. Because if you're not going to get anything done with it, you might as well turn it off and just get the cooldown back and skip 10, 15 seconds off the cooldown. Yakshiki yeah, assist. Curves like crazy. Oh no. Okay, okay, that's oh, still no. good. That's still good. No, it's. Oh, uh, Zeta. All right. Good follow up. Melee follow up. Yeah, that was All like right, really awesome. knockdown at least. Oh no, just able to reach. I think this is pre them buffing new 6B. He's like, 8B, please reach. I still think 2B would have been a lot better because it used to be. It's always been his best chase melee. Like, like you that. could always tell who was a decent new and full boost or not, or whether or not they used 2B or any of his other melees when they put the pyramid on. Because 2B also has a chance of catching steps from. There it is, that's the 2B. He the CCAB tucks the has sword behind chase. him and. CCAB has decent chase. Mm -hmm. One health, one health, oh dear. But it doesn't sweep. That's the problem with CCAB. Is it... 2B... There's yeah. 2B. Yeah. yeah, 2B stuns, it catches steps from the left. To the well, to the news left, and it stuns. And I think that Zeta actually stepped. So, case in point, it's very nice to be aware of that. Aware of that melee when you're a new player. You can also cancel it out of me. Yep. It even cancels in the sub. Oh, stop, sorry. Does it's it? AC. It cancels into AC, Bazooka. Yeah. I was like, okay, what? It cancels into Bazooka. That's his That's his boostless down combo who's main uh, to be... It only gets better. Oh. <laughs> I boosted back into the turnaround shot. Unfortunate. Okay. I think one of the hardest habits in this game to break is you recognize that like it'll be a little bit better positioning if you double back. But it's almost never worth it because you're liable to fly back into shots. You just can't react to. It's very often better to just draw circles. And they're just completely shutting them down, trying to move in. Oh, Age of X doesn't want to take that damage. So, oh! That was aimed at the partner and somehow it hit Reborns. Fishing for the wire. Ooh, nice. Reacted though. Got the e burst damage out. Here, though. Yeah, you're gonna eat damage. Yeah, he took it. Alright. They're Go making this a lot better. Burst, Age effects needs to run away. Got took the taxi out. Alright, Age effects, can you protect yourself? Mmm. Not the highest damage confirm option, but okay. It was decent. He got Gaga's in the melee. If it was just Gaga's into like a ranged attack, that would have been pretty bad. Because that would have just put Age Effects in blast mode with like no risk. Age Effects is in blast mode. But. but wing, zero, wing Zero being low is actually the worst part yeah. about this. Age Effects is pretty survivable when in blast just stay mode. Stay on the floor, just stay on the floor, yeah. Oh, G self. Called out something and got it. Nice. Yeah, if you put H effects in the blast mode, you better be thinking about using your burst to try to kill him no matter what the game state is. Cause if you're not in burst, you might not never get a ch you might not ever get a good chance. Double 2.5k with Burga and High New. Burga can. Just regular New. Play a back roll. Probably one of the better back roll 1.5ks. But we're getting this GPO3 again. I think GPO3 will get the best view of what's going on in the fights, so it's fair mm -hmm. enough. I think Burga would have had a good view. Burga has to get closer. Defense. Nice block. Nice. Just 
dragging that all the way up. Circle, circle, keep circle. This guy's really showing off just how hard it is to hit GPO3 in a general setting, too. If he doesn't want to be hit, like last... he doesn't have to get hit, yeah. Yeah, like the last match, he only got hit when he was trying to do kind of clowny stuff to finish the game. He's actually taken more damage than the Ios at this point, though. Well, he went in to push damage with 8B into CSA and took damage. The pushier you are with damage, the more likely you are to get hit with this suit. That's a pretty cool block, actually. Oh, Saved by the shield, but he was in the Pyramid got him out of it. Nice. Well, reluctantly, GPO 3's fronting. Having auto-facing sub means this suit's probably pretty decent at fronting, though. All things considered. Oh god, that looks so awkward. <laughs> oh no, you need to delete, you need to delete. Oh, this F burst is not doing a whole lot. Yeah, your BC can't get you out of Pyramid. Needs to, like, hold on and not do anything for, like, the rest of the match, basically, now. Oof, oof, oof! This isn't good. I'm getting a lot of reminders of me with this GPO3 because, it's like, oh, he's boosting at me with E-Burst. Let me try to get away with a Garoby before any oh. other idea. <laughs> Well, I look like this. I just like the throwing out again. the Garoby and then the hesitation. Ooh, that's not good. He has another burst, though. Arias hasn't bursted, so this is not that bad. This could be worse. That's actually really good. They have a win condition now. Go for it. He went for it. Just do it. I think the Garoby being worse in this game is going to help me well, out a lot in this that. this is pre-nerf, so actually the Garoby isn't actually worse at this point yet, but yeah. No, in Gundam Versus, it's just better than that. No, 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 it, yeah, they nerfed it. After hit, they, when the same patch, they nerfed, they got rid of his auto-facing sub, they nerfed his Garo, dude, like, in this game. Huh. So at this point, it's still, it's still as good as it was on release in Gundam Versus, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Because that definitely has gotten me in trouble a lot, just going, haha, the sub or the Garoby's gonna land, and then I just get shot, and I'm just like, huh? Very, very bad habit. Well, all the suits. But I'd all the suits here are pretty solid, so we're seeing the power of picking good yeah, suits in these finals. It's GPO3 and G Self have shown to be pretty good at avoiding damage. Arios is probably going to end up fronting this game. This reborn's movement's really good. I think he just shot... He has F burst now. Might be a different... Wonder... No, 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 yeah, no. It's, it's, a different same one. It's, it's not the same reborns. Like, like the reborns okay. that we watched like a couple a game or two ago, this is the same reborns, but not the same reborns we watched in throughout the whole tournament, I don't think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have kept track of the names. Unfortunately, that only clipped him, so he didn't quite get the full damage. Tried to go for the Oki Gagas, didn't get anything. Oh, the, the extra missiles, missile spam going. Ooh, that was a little close. Oh god, you need to block! Please block! Oh god, he got he got out of it! Wow. Okay, I'm surprised. I thought he was. I thought he was. I thought he needed to block at that. He point. was too far. The thing doesn't move that fast. And doesn't move that far. But yeah, if you've never experienced that before, it's basically just a giant wall of super armor hitbox. So, you can't step out of that. So either you have to keep mm -hmm. moving, or you block. Burst. Not get it. Didn't get yeah. anything. Ooh. 
I've got absolutely nothing done in Burst, which is bad. It's okay. GPO3 is low, Reborns can just survive. GPO3 is still dodging damage like a champ, like a champ. We got... GPO3 wants to win it, got called out. Oh, 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 I don't know about blocking there. Oh. oh. Saved and then the OTG kit killed him. Yeah, I'm not sure about blocking there. I think he was, was moving not knowing if he would actually hit the GPO. Oh no, no wait, wait, this so. is the exhibition match after, I think. Yeah. I think this is yeah, this is the joke exhibition match after. Not the joke, sorry, but this is this is not the final. The final was the last match. And this is the exhibition match. Red frame Kai's are locked and loaded. <laughs> same thing. They both armor meleeed each other! Just do the same thing, but like I did it better. Oh, see, I did it better. <laughs> well, this is progressing about as. <laughs> yeah. See, like, how do you hit button better than I do? It's like I'm just better. I'm sorry. Nah, I hit the button slower. It's the mirror match problem you talked about. <laughs> there are times where the worst player just wins the mirror match. That's a perfect example. You have two armor moves colliding. The person who reacts the slowest won't armor the other person's melee. Oh, this is madness. This is... Oh, done. God. <laughs> the camera has, like, who do I even watch in this shit? I don't know about shooting there, actually. I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. Oh, is it the... The Was it the little the, the assist missiles. summons he calls? The ZZ missiles, yeah. Yeah, it's the assist he calls when he fires in MA mode. Wow. Oh, well, that was chaos. See ya. Later.